All right, guys, so this is the video to installing your USB adapter that goes in the cigarette lighter. Um, it already comes pre-wired with a fuse. We're gonna go ahead and pull this out and then show you how to put it in and lock it into place. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing you need to do is take this and pull it out. Uh, one of the easiest things is if you use a really, really good quality uh, pick, something that has a hook on it, you can hook in here. Pull on it little by little, left, right, left, right, and you'll see it starts to come out. All right, so keep pulling. Sometimes it'll help if you pull these tabs in. They sort of help lock it in. Eventually, you'll get it to the point where you can just pull straight out like so. Now, what you're gonna need to do is press right here to release this adapter. And this is where you're gonna be connecting later. So don't lose this connector. Black is gonna be your ground and blue is going to be your positive, your 12 volt. All right, so the ring adapter, the easiest route is there's some prongs that you can pull on and that will allow it to release. And you'll see this here, now that I've got it out, it has a prong here and it has a prong in here. So as you're doing this from the inside, if you grab the prong and pull it down and break the prong and pull it up here, then it will allow the entire mechanism to release. All right guys, so one of the things you wanna do is test your unit. If you take your positive, which you'll notice is a little bit smaller, connect it to the positive, the blue wire once again, and then take the ground, connect it to the black wire, black to black, blue to red. Then we're gonna go ahead and turn the key. That gives you your battery. To, we've got an accessory, your battery's at 12.4 volts. Start your car. You'll see that your voltage is now being read is showing your alternator voltage, which is 14.3, 14.3, 14.4, good alternator. Go back to accessory, and the voltmeter will tell you what your battery is at, sitting, and then you turn the car off, and that will turn off. Guys, so now the next step is gonna be to drill this hole. You're gonna have to make it a little bigger because the opening is 25 millimeters. The new adapter going in is 28 millimeters. So that's gonna be the trickiest part. You just gotta open this up just a hair to then allow the adapter to go in and lock into place. All right, and one of the things that you're gonna to wanna to do is get like a Dremel tool or something that you can grind. And you're gonna take the ring and just make it a little bit bigger. Remember, you're only trying to take about three millimeters of material. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so now that we've drilled out the hole, we've made the hole, we've test fitted it, we've put it in and out, and it fits perfect. You'll notice that ultimately what you have to do is you have to run the wiring through, slide this ring from the back, connect this to the connector. That way all of this is back here. Like you can see there, there's the ring, there's the wiring and it's already connected. After you do that, then you can finish pushing this through like so. And then you take the ring that you had, you run it up and then take it all the way down to hold it fastened in place. This is a better view. If you go under the steering column, there's a metal plate that you remove that will allow you to stick your hand behind the cigarette lighter and be able to rotate that ring, like so. It's a good idea to put maybe a little drop of Loctite. That way it doesn't ever come loose. And that's pretty much it. So it should be pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy to do. If you have any questions, by all means, feel free to reach out to our tech support.